What brought me to this position for the Surrey Police and Crime Commissioner was my determination to do everything I could to make sure that Surrey's police services are not privatised. And uh, earlier in the year and for a while, Surrey were seriously investigating this and uh, G4S were one of the companies involved and we know what happened to them with the fiasco around the Olympics. But my view is that if any other candidate is elected in, on the 15th of November, privatisation of Surrey's police services, call it what you may, uh, will be back on the agenda. If you're talking about investigation services, uh, fingerprints, forensics, I would be very wary, uh, and you wouldn't find with me as Police and Crime Con Commissioner, that these serious police roles were passed over to anyone else other than uh, uniformed police officers. I see very much the role of Police and Crime Commissioner for Surrey to be uh, the ears and eyes of the local community, making certain that their priorities are are understood by the police service across Surrey, making the link between the Chief Constable and her staff to the people across the county. Very difficult role, very challenging because we've got a county of 11 boroughs, a, a million people, uh, a big area, uh, and there are different aspects to crime in different parts of the county. Uh, and I want to make certain that where crime is an issue on a small estate it is taken as seriously as to when it's on an estate with lots of big houses and rural crime as well so there are lots of issues and in addition to that the police and crime commissioner has got to be uh, making certain that the budget is a sensible one that the staff are operating efficiently and that the whole police force in surrey is accountable what are the priorities right now in surrey well, there are a whole load of areas and it'd be very difficult to say X and Y are priorities over and above anything else. Particular issues that I am concerned about are uh, domestic abuse and domestic violence where the budget has been cut recently. And uh, Surrey may be a wealthy county, but that does not make it uh, exempt from domestic abuse, which is out there and happening. And it's something that needs assistance uh, and uh, a budget. It doesn't need to be cut as it has been uh, under this administration. Um, over the years, Surrey has been poorly numbered by comparison in the number of officers by comparison with other counties of similar sizes. There's fewer officers in Surrey per population than there would be in another county of, of similar size. I want to make certain that Surrey is properly represented by police officers, by uh, PCSOs, uh, and that people feel uh, they know where they can find their police officers when they need them. Would you say you would raise the police precept? I'm saying I would certainly investigate whether the police there was support for raising the police precept. I'm not going to come in on say day one we're going to raise it but if I find through my uh, uh, surveys and talking with lots of people that actually they'd rather pay a bit more money to make certain they keep their police officer or they keep their police stations or they have some form of uh, uh, alternative to the police station if the police station has already be closed, well then yes, that's an avenue I will go down. I'm a supporter of common sense policing and I, but I don't think people should uh, get away with crimes where, they need, where it needs to be followed through. I think the police will use their common sense they will, uh, depending on the nature of the crime, depending whether it's a first offence or a, another offence, look at alternatives because uh, I'm not a hangerman, flogger person. Uh, I don't think people should be locked up if it's not necessary to do so. But people also need to be aware that if they transgress the law, whether it's young people or older people, uh, then there are measures and they will be dealt with in the appropriate way.